Thanks for joining me. My name is Ifat. I'm an artist and illustrator. In this video, I'm sharing the illustration I've created for my online class. I'm working with a photo of a coffee cup and cookie, but make my own interpretation of the image as I draw. I'll be adding textures in different styles and layer my work as the video progresses. So let's begin. As you can see, my reference photo is all brown colors, but my illustration is turning out very bright and colorful. And that's the thing about illustration, you can really be very free with your color choices and, you know, choose to make your image a lot different than the reference photo you're using. I'm using a watercolor brush, it's called Tamar and it comes with a Procreate 5. Um, but gouache brush does pretty much the same work. I love that I can see the texture of the brush and I'm working very lightly and don't really press on my stylus because I want that texture to come through as in the brush strokes. Now if you want to get a more in-depth knowledge of this technique and learn a lot lot more about my illustration style and apply to your work, you're welcome to use the link that I've placed in the description below the video and it will give you two months free of subscription to Skillshare. This class is really fun and I'm super excited about it. It's all about working around artistic blocks and finding inspiration for our next project. And we're gonna do this through fun exercises, uh, journaling, sketching, and finishing up with the illustration that I'm demonstrating here. So go check it out. So let's see what kind of elements I have so far. I created this round backdrop. That's the red big stain you see behind the coffee cup. And I did it because I wanted it to enhance my subject, which is the glass and the cookie. And it's pretty much the same color of my background, only in a deeper tone. And I have my plate, which is wooden, and I'll be creating texture for it in a minute. And of course the cookie that I kept in its original brown orange colors. And as I draw, I make sure that the texture of the brush shows through. And this is a technique that I really love. And you'll see through all my illustrations, basically. As I draw, I pay attention to light sources. They come from above and behind the coffee cup and the cookie. And so they create the shadows at the front of the image. If you look at the front of the cookie and the cup, you'll see the shadows where they meet and that's where the shadows are going to be slightly darker. And I want to represent it in my illustration as I draw. I chose a non-textured brush for my coffee because it's in a glass cup and it's highly reflective so I'm using plain round brush to draw it, no texture at all. And then I can add with a lighter color the reflection on the, on the glass. When I want to show the reflection on the glass, I'm alpha locking my layer by swiping right on the layer with two fingers. Another thing that I'm using is a color palette that I've created specifically for this illustration. And it has all the colors that I've picked before I started working. It has reds that complement the greens. And it has like four different shades of brown for the coffee and the cookie and the milk froth. Now when I'm drawing the milk, I'm using this nice shaded uh, cream that really complement the brown. And I really wanted these colors to be appetizing. You know, it's coffee. And obviously I'm back to my texture brush for the milk. Now to clean up my illustration, I'm using the eraser and tracing my ink lines to create a very nice and clean line. Or as you can see, I was working with very nice line work that I created to kind of warm up my hand. But eventually I removed it from my illustration and 
drew new inclines in white creamy color because I wanted the incline to be kind of part of my texture. I have very rough texture behind the cup and I wanted on top of the cup to draw very stylized lines in a smooth brush and you know that's an artistic choice. And so in this way the line work is contrasting the textures uh, beneath it. So I'm using a lot of texture technique in this illustration and one is the contrast between the uh, rough brushwork and the fine lines and so for the wood plate I decided to show the grains and I really enjoyed you know tr tracing them uh, kind of loosely with a uh, pen brush and later on I made sure they're not com exactly at the place they're supposed to be they're kind of slightly shifting to the side because I think it creates more interesting illustration. Another way and a very simple one to add texture is to simply pick a pencil brush from the sketching menu and that's what I'm doing. I'm using the 6B pencil and kind of drawing in texture in a dark green and a lighter green. Another way to add texture is to add a very interesting brush. So I found one that looks like a rake and it draws these very like parallel coarse lines and I just like it, you know, and I used it to enhance the shadows um, underneath the cookie and the ones that kind of drop off the coffee cup. And then I, I used it to accentuate the shadows underneath the wooden tray. Another way to add uh, elements to an illustration is to add them from your imagination and this time I'm using coffee beans and they relate to the theme of my work which is coffee and cookie and I think they're really fun, they're very freely hand-drawn and again the fine smooth lines kind of come in contrast to a very freestyle backdrop. I'm also using an illustration uh, that I made before and that's the brick wall. And lastly I'm using text and that's the name of the coffee place. And as I add in the text I'm changing the colors because initially I drew it with uh, dark ink and it totally throws off my illustration so I just change it into a light color through the uh, edit color option in Procreate and then I made sure that the text kind of follows the round shape of the plate and I'm doing that using the selection tool and I can remove whatever element I don't want off the canvas and repositions the remaining elements right where I want them. And here's what my final artwork looks like compared to my reference photo. I really hope you enjoyed this demonstration and do go and check my referral link and get two free months on my course. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.